Happy Vlogmas, everybody. It's your girl T back with another Saturday style day, Satter Slay video. Last week we did hair and this week we are back to fashion. I got a lot of positive feedback on my Hollis Slay lookbook, which kicked off our style day series during Vlogmas. Since I'm not the type to constantly be hauling new things from Zara or Forever 21 or wherever on a weekly or monthly basis, it's always tricky for me to do lookbooks because I feel badly that I can't necessarily give you guys links for everything because a lot of my stuff is old. But during these sales that have been going on throughout the holiday season, I have picked up a few new items for my wardrobe. I did a big clear out not too long ago and I've been kind of filling in some blanks and uh, just adding some pieces that reflect the way I like to dress currently. You know, we all evolve over time. There's things that we like now that maybe we didn't like before or vice versa. So the items I'm showing you today are all things that are new into my wardrobe and that are still actually available because I know a lot of you guys, we have similar tastes. So I wanted to do a video where I'm showing you guys things that I love and you can actually get them if you want to. So everything I'm showing you guys is still available as of now when I just hit record because I did just check. So I'll have links in the description box for all the clothing, including this shirt that I'm wearing right now, which isn't part of it, but it's new enough and I checked it just in case it is still available. So there will be a link for this too if you're curious. I'm gonna start off with the item that I'm most excited about and that would be these boots. Yeah, there are a lot. I'm just gonna hold one while I'm talking to make my life easier. These are by Jeffrey Campbell. If you've checked the description box on my last couple of lookbooks, you know that I've been loving me some Jeffrey Campbell boots in particular over the past, I'd say two years now. I think this love affair began last year. I know that snakeskin is a huge trend right now. I'm generally a trend averse person, but to be fair to myself, I've been rocking snakeskin since they first album. I have snakeskin pieces that are still in my wardrobe that are three, four, five years old. So while it is annoying that it's trendy now, I am happy that there's so many more items that are snakeskin that I can pick up and keep wearing after this trend dissipates. And these boots are one of them. I love that they're very Western influenced, but also very edgy at the same time. They're just super cool. They've got these three buckles on the side, they've got cutouts, and they also have a lace up detail under the buckles here in the front, which is probably hard to see on camera. Because of the very pointy toe, they do tend to make my feet look big. I'm an eight and a half nine, so I guess my feet are on the bigger side anyway. But I just love these. I saw these in Nordstrom and I knew I had to have them. I tried them on, they're super comfortable, and I was just like, yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna sleep on this, but I already know I'm gonna get these, and I did. I can't wait to wear these out. I haven't worn them yet because I just picked them up. I also love that despite the fact that they're super comfortable, they're still a heel and it gives me a few extra inches and who doesn't love a few extra inches wait a minute that could be interpreted poorly I have many visions of how I'm going to style these boots, but here I've just paired them with some statement tights and some denim cutoffs. You guys would have seen me do this same move in my Hollis Slate lookbook. I love statement tights this time of year, and I love styling them with my denim cutoffs because I love to wear denim cutoffs as much as possible now that I have the confidence to do so. And I feel like this look is very, very me. Next up, we have this bodysuit, which you guys actually saw me wearing in a video either this week or last week, I can't quite remember. Quite a few of you guys seemed interested in it, and I love a bodysuit. Denim cutoffs and bodysuits are just staples for me in my wardrobe year round. So I've been getting a couple more long sleeve bodysuits for the cooler months because in the summer I tend to go for the tank top style for obvious reasons. And I just love this one. It's really basic, but it's also got a little bit of more interest with the buttons. You can wear it completely unbuttoned. You can unbutton one or you know a couple of the buttons if you like. It's by Free People, so I feel like it's of quality and I love it so much I already ordered it in another color. I got it in gray as well because I just feel like bodysuits in general seem to flatter my body pretty well and I'm one of those. If I really love something, I'm the type to get it in another color. Next, I have this dress, which is by Free People. You'll be able to see it better in the try-on clip, but it's just a blue dress. This is definitely more going to be a transitional piece for me once it starts warming up, mainly because of the color. I feel like you could probably get away with it in the winter time, but 
This is a very springy color and the fabric is also very like springtime in my opinion. I did size up to a medium for this. I just thought I wanted it to be a bit more loose and flowy. And while it does have that nice deep V-neck, which gives it a little bit more sexiness, I wanted to edge it up a bit because I tend to go between like edgy tomboy and grandma and I'm always kind of <laughs> merging those two aesthetics. And with a somewhat grandma-ish dress like this, I like to edge it up with my footwear. So I went for my Doc Martens. These are not new, but they are still available. I picked these up after I got back from Japan. These have been getting a ton of wear since I picked them up. It was kind of my summertime uniform to wear these boots denim cutoffs and like a crop top like high waist denim cutoffs and a crop that was my summer uniform i swear and i feel like just a tough shit kicking boot like this is the perfect accompaniment to something really like kind of dainty and feminine i'm very much a tomboy and i love bringing those two sides of myself together i can see myself wearing the dress with boots or maybe even just chucks when i want something a little bit lighter for summer with my hair up and an obnoxiously big bun another thing i love to do very excited the next piece is something that I don't have to wait around for because I've already been loving it and wearing it a ton and it is this jumper from Topshop. I love the shape of it. It's very wide and oversized and it's got these drop shoulder sleeves on it. And I really think the color combination is really flattering to my complexion and just kind of unique. I don't think I've ever seen a sweater with these exact colors before. And I also like that it gives me slight Freddy Krueger vibes. I've been wearing this basically since it's gotten cold enough to wear it. And I've been getting compliments on it every time I wear it. You may be able to see I've styled it with some leather shorts. These are also new into my closet. These are from Zara. Despite being from Zara, I feel like they're actually pretty good quality. They're of course faux leather, pleather shorts, but they've got pockets and then they've got fake pockets in the back which kind of sucks but I feel like it's probably more flattering on the butt not to have the pocket fabric underneath there it's got this belt that comes with it too and I love these as an alternative to my denim cutoffs because it's just another way to switch it up and again gotta have my statement tights and in this case I style them with these boots these are another pair of Jeffrey Campbell boots that you guys will have seen in a couple book books, I think, but certainly in my Hollis Slay one. These are less new, and I think these are either sold out or on the way out. So sizes are probably limited, but I just wanted to show you guys how I would really style that look. It's really trying to show you the shorts and the jumper, but I'll leave a link for these anyway, because I think Nordstrom still might have a couple sizes left. That's where I got them, by the way. You guys have probably noticed that I shop at Nordstrom a lot because one, they've got the best return policy in the business. I would love to get sponsored by Nordstrom one of these days, but today ain't that day. I'm just telling you like it is. That is it, my friends. That's five or six things that are new into my wardrobe and they aren't going anywhere. I'm gonna be wearing these things to death. Oh, I have so many ideas for how I wanna style those snakeskin boots, especially. I'm, ugh, they're not like anything I have in the footwear department. Actually, I'm lying, I have snakeskin sneakers. I told y'all I've been wearing snakeskin for a while. But snakeskin sneakers are not the same as snakeskin boots. So I'm really excited to style these because they're just, they're just unlike anything I've ever had before. And I don't even think they're the kind of thing that I would have gravitated to at another time in my life. So I'm really just having fun with experimenting and seeing my personal style evolve. That's a wrap for this Saturday. And I hope that I sadder slayed this style day. I'm having a stroke, it's time to go. Thank you so much for watching. And I will hopefully see you tomorrow for the Sunday stream where I'll be live on the internet. But until then, bye-bye. That's, that's a nappy-headed horse there, I'm gonna take that down. <laughs>